uh, you were speaking about uh, patient education in India and that's why I really want to know what's the current scenario for patient education in India? How well is it going with people? The patient education in India in the current scenario I think is abysmal in the sense it is uh, pathetic because on an average the doctor patient consultation time is about 8 to 10 minutes in the world. Maybe in India it may be this way that way. For example, I can give you an example. There may be a, a certain patient who is very simple, straightforward, asthmatic. I may spend 5 minutes. Patient is also happy and goes out. There is a very complicated case where we need to spend even 2 hours on a single case. Where it may be something more than asthma too. But on, on an average it is 8 to 10 minutes. So the doctor spends about 10 minutes of time. And imagine over a period of say the patient comes after every 3 months. And the doctor's patient relationship 3 months into divided by is like 4 times, right? 4 into 10 is 40 minutes, am I right? Four, 4 visits in a year is 10 into 4 is 40 minutes. So if you convert a day into minutes and a day into hours and minutes totally and bring this 40 minutes of relationship with the doctor over maybe I think thousands of minutes over a year, that is really bad. That the doctor has to spend more time with the patient and patient and not only the patient, the patient and the family has to be educated. We call it PFE, patient family education. For example, at Apollo hospitals, we are JCA accredited, which means Joint Commission International Accreditation coming from the United States, one amongst the few hospitals in the world who are accredited with an international standard where they talk very much about PFE or patient family education. India is very low and that is the place where disease management program comes in because the di difference between disease management program and a doctor patient relationship is in the disease management program instead of 10 minutes the patient spends nearly about 2 hours or about 120 minutes in the hospital clinic complex. For example at the disease management program complex we have at Apollo hospitals Chennai also we have started one at Hyderabad we are going to start one at uh, Bangalore and in Madurai and by the year end in seven centers in about 40 centers in the next four years is our very realistic target but then we are going to go across the country pan globe because I believe our disease management program is the best in the world and coming back to the differences between the disease management program and the doctor patient relationship and uh, the time spent in disease management as I told you the disease management we spend 120 minutes which means 10 into 120 is about 12 times more time and every time the patient comes the same thing happens maybe on a lesser degree and the patient is also exposed to uh, assistant doctor, to a senior respiratory consultant, to a senior physiotherapist, to a senior dietitian. They undergo physiotherapy classes for exercising, breathing and other exercising. They undergo specialist diet consultations. They are given peak flow meters which are the components of the disease management program which many doctors do not prescribe and if they, don't, if they do prescribe they do not have the time in the 8 to 10 minutes to teach them how to use the peak flow meter. Inhalers are prescribed as part of the program as I told you the number one treatment, the number two treatment and the number three treatment for asthma is inhalers, inhalers and inhalers. If your doctor has not prescribed your inhaler please go back to your doctor if you are an asthmatic and ask why an inhaler has not been prescribed to me. So we give inhalers and to teach an inhaler it takes about three to four minutes and most of the time in asthma we give inhalers along with spacer devices. Now spacer devices again are devices which prevent complications from happening because of the treatment schedule in asthma and helps especially in children creates wonders in their lives if you start using a spacer device along with inhalers in asthma. Now teaching a patient how to use an inhaler with a spacer device, teaching a patient what a peak flow meter is, how to use a peak flow meter, what is a traffic signal analog in a peak flow meter usage, what is an asthma action plan takes 2 hours. That is where disease management program is going to create a paradigm shift in healthcare, not only in asthma, not only in COPD. We are opening up, we have already opened up about heart diseases and sugar clinics for diabetes. For any chronic condition in the world, disease management is the answer. And disease management brings in patient self care efforts. For example, they use the peak flow meter at home, like a blood pressure patient uses a BP apparatus or a diabetic patient uses a glucometer, the asthmatic patient uses the peak flow meter at home and self monitors the disease. That is where disease management comes in where chronic conditions like asthma, COPD, obesity, diabetes, hypertension, coronary artery disease, 
etc are taken care of by the patients more than 50 percent of the times because all international scientific guidelines say more than 50 percent of the effort has to be from the patient side that is where DM programs come in that patient self care efforts are very significant and chronic conditions are being addressed like asthma and COPD and that is where we are talking about 